Bungie has sprinkled some extra secret sauce on Lemon Arc now, with a bunch of buffs and giving it overload. This gun can now one-tap almost every red bar GM add, and can get easy work of even orange bars. This will allow us to use things that need killing to actually be able to be used in GMs. Things like Devour, Ver Verity's Brow, or Netherrack Sin can now be used very easily. With Lemon Arc, these one-taps are going to be coming very fast, so we can finally be able to spam kill things. With Devour, we are able to go into the Expus Crash Nightfall, and in the boss room, where you almost need a well every time, and we got through it without even needing wells at all. This was extremely easy with the Devour proccing, and just needed some nice movement and skill to get through it. I really enjoyed this build, and I can't wait to get to it. I'm using some long range mods so you guys don't have to use wells or anything that will hurt your playstyle and put you in danger. With the ability to use healing rifts and child of the old gods, we'll be even making things easier to kill with the weakening effect. Our grenades will be coming up every so often, very fast spamming and a lot of ability kills. There's a few variations in this build, and gives you a lot of options to play with, but this is just my general first build attempt with it. I hope you guys enjoy this build, and I'm gonna get into it now. Here you go. To start out with this build, we're gonna be using Verity's Brow. This is gonna be a combo with the Lemon Arc. If you want to, you can be using Nezirak Sin. I think it might be better in some cases, but I do like Verity's Brow for the extra grenade damage, and the timer lasts for a while. Nesterax Sin lasts for much less, and it's a much better buff though, and the buff actually stacks if you get multiple kills in a row, it'll keep stacking up to like 15 seconds, and this is going to be a 300% buff for your grenade, but Verity's Brow is going to be a 50% buff for each kill up to 5, so in all you'll be 250, which is actually less, but the timer lasts for 10 seconds, and it also increases your grenade damage. So you can do what you want with that in run either or. We're using Lemon Arc because Lemon Arc can now one shot almost every red bar in the game with a headshot. And just the smoke can kill dregs, not even hitting them with the bow, which is pretty absurd. And they've just buffed this so many times and gave it an exotic catalyst, which gives it reload speed, which is very nice. For the rest of our mods, we're going to be getting a ton of kills with this build, so we are running Charge Harvester. For 4-6 to six kills, you'll be getting Charge of Light. This Charge of Light, with the um, Firepower mods we're using, will give us 65% of our grenade. Next, we're using two Bolster Detonations. I don't have a high recovery on this build, so I really want to get my rifts as fast as possible. As you see, the ri you're going to see the rifts are going to give us Child of the Old Gods, which gives us more grenade and more rift energy from getting kills and the sucking gives us grenade energy. So this is gonna go with the bomber mods, so we're gonna be constantly getting grenades. We throw so many grenades, and I'm not even using Nether X in. Nether X in, you should be able to get even more because it's 300% and the buff stacks, but it does not last as long, so you can do what you will with that. I really enjoyed using this build, and I got some crazy Expus Crash gameplay. Um, we did not even do the cheese here, I was just, Doing this, we had no Well of Radiance, and with Devour, we were able to survive and keep our teammates alive. This is very nice, and I really enjoyed using this build in Expos Crash. You guys really meant a lot to be showing up and watching this video. It means so much to see you guys enjoying my videos and leaving comments and constructive criticism. That really helps me build my channel and make it better. I want to make this into something huge and really want to improve the Destiny 2 community and really enforce how important builds are. I love to make these videos for you guys, so it means a lot that you stuck with me. I'm gonna get into some gameplay, you're gonna truly see how crazy this build is. So thank you for watching, and I hope you guys have an amazing day. Goodbye guys!
Nice! You can play down below, not do the skip. Be fun. Feel the flame. Break it. Whew. We stopped the map.
That was easy. <laughs> that was pretty good. <laughs> Thank you for the buddy. You going? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, that's a many roll. Starfire. Whew.